no, 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 no. This is here to stay. Like, yeah, you're going to have Mahomes and you're going to have your Josh Allens. Those guys are going to be there for the next decade. But some of these other guys, some of these no names that you never heard of or that you never even thought would be leading a team in the playoffs, they're going to be here. It's going to be at least two to three of them a year easily. So this, this is something I, I will mark it right here, right now on January 11, 2023. This, we will be talking about this for the next four to five, six years. This is going to be a trend because right now, like I said, the quarterback position is hurting in the NFL, hurting. Once you get past uh, a certain, once you get past a certain number and you can say, well, it's always been like that. Yes and no, but we didn't always have 17 games. Okay. And I don't remember this many poorly run franchises, to be honest with you. I, I, I think there are so many, there are so many terrible franchises in the NFL right now, more than I can remember it growing up or watching football, even as a young adult, which makes them, which is going to cause them to make even worse drafting mistakes. And to be honest with you, it's nothing really coming out the college pipeline that's like that. I mean, even this year, I'm not, I wasn't blown away by Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. Now, there's always going to be a surprise that overachieves and say, hey, I didn't see him coming. Cool. We're going to, those, those are going to happen. But I, and I really was thinking about this just when I, when I went over this list and just looking at the, the draft, some of the college prospects, even just thinking about quarterbacks in general. I, matter of fact, I, <laughs> I'm going to give you a list of, of, of quarterbacks who played this year. And this is not even the entire list. Jared Stidham, Sam Howell, Desmond Ritter, Skylar Thompson, Sam Ellinger, Joshua Dobbs, Sam Darnold. Those are some of the quarterbacks that played this year. And that's the short version of the list. So this is not, I, this will not be an aberration as far as some of these guys that you never heard of or that you wouldn't even think would be starting for a playoff team. I only I have one statement that proves your, that that sums up your points perfectly. Go. Um, Brock Purdy is on the team that has a legitimate chance to win the Super Bowl. That's yes. their third string quarterback. That's all you need to know. That's not third. a thing. That's not a no. thing. Yeah. That is, that is just not a thing. No. No, and they and I'm glad you bring up San Francisco. They were a candidate to win the regular season in terms of winning the regular season. Uh, they have fun, they Kyle Shanahan coached his ass off this year. They did a phenomenal job my like goodness. that. Oh I, my! I I have come completely to your side on this. I I I see. I do. I see San Francisco in the Super Bowl. I, I, see, I, it. I can see it. No, I, I can see it. I can. I, I, I can see it. Too. I can see it. I see they, it they, they, they just, they, they play. I mean, they just, they know who they are. They know who they are. Um, get into this weekend. And they, you know, San Francisco has they get healthy. I mean, their thing yes. is always health. Yeah. That's their thing. And they get yeah. everybody back. Uh, and the boy Purdy can play. He can play. He can play. He can play football. He can play that position. Yeah, he's better been. week after week after week. I was waiting to see if, if uh, when people got tape on him, if his game would degrade, oh, he's gotten better. I mean, listen, it helps a lot when you have coaches put you in position to succeed. Of course. Of course. <laughs> like, that goes a long, long way. 